how are you? Happy Monday. Today, um, today's drawing is going to be a great white shark. I uh, really want to mix it up. I love drawing sharks. There's something so beautiful about them. Their lines, they're so unique. I love drawing great whites. I love drawing hammerhead sharks. So today I'm going to teach you how to do a great white shark. And I was thinking earlier today, if you, everybody can draw, each and every one of you can draw. Even if you think you can't draw, you can. Just break everything up into shapes. So the shark is gonna be all about shapes. So today, all you need, period, you don't need any, anything else but a pencil. A pencil and an eraser, that'll do the job. So here we go, let's start with a big oval. So I'm going to start, I'm going to make my shark go right in the middle of my paper. So I'm going to start with a long, skinny oval. Kind of looks like a corn dog. Something like that. And then from there, I'm going to make a triangle shape on the top of my oval. So right here, I'm going to come right here and I'm going to make a triangle shape. This is going to end up being the nose and the mouth and the eye of my great white. Now the back of my shark, we're going to come off our oval shape and we're going to make a triangle shape again this way. I'm going to go up, down, and back right here, nice triangle shape. And that will end up being the fin of our shark. So from this shape, we're gonna start shaping this great white. So I'm gonna come right here, and I'm gonna come up and bring this area over to my fin, okay? Then I'm gonna come to this spot right here, and I'm gonna go under my shark. I'm gonna make my shark, I'm gonna enlarge him a little bit, make him a little bigger, right there. Now we have a good beginning shape. It kind of looks like a torpedo or a fish at this point, but believe me, it's going to look like a shark real soon. So I'm going to place my great white shark's eye. Now the great white shark has a big dark black eye and it's right Right where my oval and my triangle shape are, right in this section, you don't want to put it too close because that's going to be actually be the tip of the nose of my shark. So we're going to come right here and we're going to shade in a dark black circle. That will be the eye of my great white. And right here, not at the tip, but just a little bit over from the tip, I'm going to create the nostril or nose of my shark. Now one thing about great whites is they have an incredible sense of smell. They can smell a drop of blood from three miles away. Their incredible sense of smell. So I'm gonna put the nose right here. So I'm gonna move back. My, one of my favorite things to draw is the dorsal fin. Now I have always been I don't know, I'm just amazed at these sharks and their power, but I always thought of a shark with this big dorsal fin, the fin that everyone's scared of when they're swimming and they see this. They're always so worried about the shark. But honestly, you don't really need to be worried about getting bit by a shark. That is very, very rare. And these great white sharks, they don't, they don't wanna eat humans. If they do bite a human, it's just because they're curious and most people survive that. Oh, here comes Frank. Hey Frank, how you doing? Okay, Frank, time to move, time to move. I wanna get bit by the shark, Frank. All right, so anyways, this dorsal fin is about halfway, bet halfway between the top of the nose and the back um, fin of my shark. So it's kind of, it's kind of like a triangle shape and I like to curve it. Now there is another small dorsal fin and you're gonna come behind that fin 
and it's a small little fin right there. So I'm going to put that other fin right there. All right. So now let's move on. Now I'm going to move back to the mouth of my shark. One of my favorite areas to make. So right here at this triangle, I'm going to come below this triangle right here and I'm going to open up. Actually, I'm going to erase this, um, this line right here. I just don't need it anymore. Erase that. Okay. Now right here, here's the nose. I'm going to come down and I'm going to open up the mouth of my shark right here. I'm going to open, open up that mouth right there. Another triangle shape right there. Now the mouth is open, but I want to see a little bit inside that mouth. So I'm going to come right to this little spot right here. And I'm just going to curve a line like that. See how I did that? I just went right here and curved up. Now it's a little bit three dimensional and you can see inside the shark. Now, I love drawing the shark's teeth. It's one of my favorite things to draw. So I'm just going to make little triangles right inside that mouth, like so, just to give that shark some, some good teeth. Now sharks, they are carnivores, so they are meat eaters. They, when they're babies, they eat a lot of fish and turtles and things like that. But when they grow older, they eat seals, and they even eat baby whales. Sorry, it's a little sad, but they do. Um, they are, these guys are one of the top predators in our ocean, but there is one other predator that beats out the great white. And if you can guess it, it's, it's the orca. The orca will attack a great white shark if threatened. So anyways, let's move down from there. All right, so now I'm gonna come to my side fin. Now we're looking at the side of the shark right here. So the side fin is going to, we're going to come down. It's not going to be on the belly of the shark. It's going to be a little bit above the belly. And we're going to make a side fin about right here. It's in front of that back dorsal fin. So right here, this is actually called the pectoral fin of the shark. So right here, we're going to create another fin pectoral fin. And this is going to be connected and we can move some lines like this. That's going to be connected to the side of his body, not on his stomach because we're looking at the side of our great white. So I'm going to come back down and I am going to make two more small little fins right here and another one right here. All right, so now we have a lot of fins, but we still need to work on that back fin because when we drew it, we just drew a, tr a triangle shape, but now we wanna make it really look like a fin. So I'm gonna build on top of this triangle shape and I'm gonna come up. Now, from the side view of the shark, the top fin, and it's gonna kind of curve in, is going to be bigger than the bottom part of this fin going to look kind of like that. So you can see how it went from a triangle shape, but then I modified it a little bit to give it a, a better, more professional look to it. So I'm going to erase inside here because I don't need that anymore. And just like that, it's starting to look like a shark. Um, there is the other pectoral fin. You don't see it because it's on the other side of this body, but in this I'm just going to come right here and I'm going to show just a little bit of it. And this is on the other side of his body. So it's a lot smaller than this one. See how that's a lot smaller and it's on the other side. So, all right, now we have a good looking shark. Here. Um, I am now going to create the top part of the shark and the bottom part of the shark. All right. So now that I have that back fin, just the way I like it, a little, little taller and a little smaller as I draw the bottom of this back fin. I'm gonna come back through the shark. Now, the shark, the great white, 
has a dark slate gray on the top of him and the bottom of the white shark, they call it the white shark for a reason because the bottom of the shark, he has a white stomach. And there's a reason for that. The slate gray at the top is a camouflage. So when you're looking down, you can't see the shark because of the slate gray blends in with the bottom of the ocean. So this is definitely a really good camouflage and the bottom of the shark is white. So if he's swimming up above and you look up, you see the white of the white water on the top of the water. So this is his camouflage. So to create these two different sections, um, I'm gonna erase all my guidelines like that oval. I don't need any of these guidelines anymore because I'm gonna do a lot of shading on top. All right, so we're gonna start at the tip of that shark's nose and we're gonna do this really lightly. We're gonna come just under the nostril, staying above the mouth and we're gonna come right to the pectoral fin. Then I'm gonna come back to the end of the pectoral fin and I'm gonna keep coming and I'm gonna take this line all the way through to the bottom of his tail. So, and it's not a straight line. So it's gonna go from the top and we're gonna to come to the pectoral fin and we're gonna reappear right here and go to the back of the shark. Now that will be remain white and then the top part of our shark, we are going to shade in with our pencil a nice, I'm gonna just start shading. Shading is really fun, it takes some time, but I'm just gonna shade in on top of the eye and the nostril. And if you haven't already, make sure that eye is really dark and make sure that nostril is nice and dark. And I'm just gonna lightly come through and I'm gonna come into this pectoral fin and shade. And I'm gonna continue shading with my pencil all the way through this great white, all the way through. And this is gonna give it a nice gray slate look. I come into this little fin and shade, leaving the white on the under part of his belly. All right, there's one layer, sh layer of shading. I'm also gonna shade in all these little fins and this pectoral fin on the other side of his body. Okay, there I go. All right, so at this point, I am gonna darken the outside of my shark a little bit. Just gonna come through and darken the edge. See how rough I am? I'm not being like a straight line. I'm just being really like going back and forth with my pencil now. Now the nice thing about shading is you build. You build on what you have with shading. So for instance, I have one layer of shading right here, but if I want to go and darken some other areas up a little bit, I'm just going to go right on top of that already shaded area and just push down a little bit harder. And when I do that, I can darken in different parts of the shark give it more interest. It's going on top of and darkening some areas up. Another thing that's really cool with shading is your, your I mean, there, there are blending sticks which are, which are really great when you're working with shading, but your finger has a lot of oils in it and you can take your finger and you can go right on top of that pencil. See how I'm doing that? And that will blend the pencil together just by going right on top with your finger. And here's another cool thing. If you want some like highlights, you can take your eraser and you can go into that pencil. See how I did that? And you can erase out some light spots. Maybe that's a little reflection from the top of the water hitting that shark. You can also do that. You can go and erase out. So using pencil is a lot of fun and there's a lot you can learn from just a pencil. So when you're doing the shark, after you've done with the video, go back in with the pencil a little bit and try some of these techniques. They're a lot of fun. All right, now I want to give you a few more facts about the shark before we finish him. 
This great white shark is about 15 to 20 feet average size. I mean, the largest great white shark that they, they documented is around 26 feet, but that is the size of a school bus. If you can really think about that, that's how big these sharks can be. They're ginormous. Um, so one more thing before we finish up today, shark in the eye, remember that eye is really dark, is the gills. We can't, we have to make some gills right here. And there's about five gills and they're a little curved line and they're right in front of this pectoral fin. Two, three, they don't have to all be the same size. I'm gonna get five in there, five gills. So that my great white shark can breathe well under this water. All right, boys and girls, that is a great white shark. And I hope you enjoy drawing sharks as much as I do because I could draw sharks all day. I just love them. And remember, I might erase it a little bit. Keep that under underneath here, white, because he's, a, he's nicknamed the white shark because of that white stomach. And enjoy your great white sharks. And please let me know how you liked it on the YouTube. Have a great day. Take care.